Hey, good morning, welcome to my workshop. I'm going to, in fact, my very small workshop, as you can probably see, it's not very big at all. Um, today what I want to do is I want to show you my pr process for making a pen. I've got a video camera set up here, which is pointing directly on the job down there. I've got a blank, I don't know how well you can see this, it's a beautiful piece of Spanish olive wood. I've got a little bit of work to do to prep it. I've got a tube drilled and glued in down the middle, but I need to cut the end off by about that much. I then need to dress this end so that they're nice and square, and then mount it on the lathe. I'll come back to you when I've done that. Okay, that's the ends trimmed. If you can see now, let me just move the light and see if we can't get you on there. Just in there, you should just be able to see the reflection of a piece of brass tube and uh, the same that end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get it mounted on the lathe and start turning it. So this is a bush that's de developed specifically for this size of pen kit. One end goes in there and the other end goes in there and I want that to be the bottom so that goes towards the headstock and it's not going to fit. And then we want uh, that piece, and I want a scrap piece as well. What have I done with that? There it is. So that'll go on there, that'll go on there. That is just a space, so there's nothing else on that. Bring that up, lock that in place. Okay, let's switch the lathe on, that'll help. There she goes, right. Now let's turn this, you can't see that, that's fine, that's alright. What I'm going to do, I only really want this bit to be tight enough so that this doesn't stop like that, so what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten it up. That's it, lock that down, turn that off. Now I've got to be a little bit careful about positioning this part so that I don't bash the... other camera. Just like that, I do apologise. Check it. A bit high. That's fine. Now let's turn that speed up.
Well, we can see it's round now, so that's good. I'm not going to make you sit and watch all of that. I'll uh, stop the camera. I'll, I'll turn it so that it's down to the final size, and I'll come back at just as we start the sanding so that I can show you some of the process of sanding. Okay. It's cut to size. Happy with that. What I need to do now is I need to sand it through to 600 grit with sandpaper and then we can apply a finish. Now I've got, I wouldn't call it a specialist pack up here, I'm just going to move it out of the way. I've got a pack of sandpaper as you can see that goes from, let's see, 150, oh no, 600. <laughs> all the way through and back to 150 so I'm just going to run through all of those I'll show you the first couple and then we'll move on from there that's it that's all I need per grit this is the 150 Okay, I'm going to go through and do the other one, two, three, four grits right the way up to 600 and I'll come back when that's done. Okay, <clears throat> I've done the 150, 240, 320 and 400. I'm just going to finish it up with 600. That will just take a few seconds and then we can start applying the finish. Uh, the finish that I'm using is this. Uh, let's see if we can get there, you go. Super glue. We'll do between 8 and 10 coats of that, depending on how bored I get. Now, a lot of pen turners will use a, a super glue accelerator <coughs> uh, just to make the job quicker. I don't normally. I have got some up there. Um, I don't normally use it, but for the sake of this video, I will today. This blank is beautiful. I'll just take those last sets of scratches out. There we go. I'm going to put a face mask on because the super glue and the activator completely stink and they are horrible. So I won't be doing much talking, if any. I might put a nice piece of music over the top. <coughs> there we go. Now isn't that just a glorious piece of wood? <coughs> this is a great process it's fairly quick let's have my mask um, all we do is use three or four drops of super glue per coat and like I said we're going to put eight or ten coats on and we're just going to wipe them over the blank the blank is not moving fast um, I'm not going to adjust the speed that it's at at the moment which I think is it's only 450 revs so that's all that's needed I've got a glove on there you go, you can see my glove there, just so that, because this stuff's horrible, and I'm going to put my mask on. There we go. Gorgeous. Right. Let's have a piece of that. Oops, I know. Right, watch this. One, two, three. That's it, that's all it needs. We'll do that 10 more times, I'll keep my mask on. Uh, the first coat, I don't use the accelerator on. This is the accelerator, by the way, there you go. And you just go pss, pss, and it will dry it. The first coat, I like to leave it without, just so that it's got a natural dryness to it. Uh, we'll go through and we'll do that eight or 10 times. Um, I might speed you through the process. Uh, 
you know, turbo or warp speed the video just so it's not quite so boring for you. If I don't accelerate it, each coat takes about 90 seconds, two minutes to dry properly so that I can put the next coat on. But this does give me the opportunity to drink a cup of tea. Yes. There you go, that's dry. Right, let's get on and get this done. Okay. One, two. Just like the first coat, I'm not going to accelerate the last coat. I know you can't hear me very well, but... There we go, we've got a few ripples in that, but we can get that out with a bit of... Uh, super glue. No, the sand in. Let's just take that off. Okay. Oh, that's better. What is nice about that accelerator is that the smell goes off very quickly. Let's hang that back up again. And over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grits of micro mesh sandpaper, which I'm going to wet sand with. And they go from 1500 grit on the rusty colour one, that is that one, all the way up to 12,000 grit on the grey one, which is that one. There you go. So, I want to go that way, I want some clean tissue, that'll do, a runny nose. And then all we're going to do is we are going to carefully wet sand. Twelve thousand.
And there you go. That is that bit done. There you go. One finished pen. I love it. I think Olive is a beautiful wood to work with. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this. And you'll join me again for another stupid wood turning project really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.